let's write some of these decimals as fractions. How would I go from this number to a fraction? And the trick here is, can you read this number? If you can read this number, then you can write the fraction. How do you read this guy? 71 what? Hundredths, right? If you write that exactly the way that you say that, you're saying this is 71 hundredths. That's what that means, right? We're showing that this last guy right here indicates the decimal, the decimal place. So this goes all the way out to hundredths. So you take this decimal over the 100. Another easy way to look at this is how many decimal places do you have? Two decimal places, and look how many zeros you have. See the connection there? That's all we have to worry about. If I were to say this, zero point three zero three. How do you read this as a number? Well, We read this as 303 thousandths. How many decimal places do I have? Three, that means I have how many zeros for that power of 10? Three zeros. And what if I were to say this? Seven, well, if I read this to you, then I'm just giving away the answer, so I'm not going to. How would you read this number? The, the, the proper, bless you, technical way of reading this number is what? It's what? Seven. Seven and, then you do the decimal, right? But that almost sounds like we're saying a mixed number, right? Mm -hmm. So this is seven and what? 201. Ten thousandths. Four decimal places, four zeros. Do you all agree? Okay, now we're going to have fun. How do you read this decimal as a fraction? Six. That's six hundredths, right? But well, you know I'm not happy with this. Why am I not happy? Reduce. I can reduce this to what? All the cool kids see this and they know what to do. They see the six and one hundred can be reduced by two. So you can reduce both these by two, you get three fiftieths. We see 3 50th doesn't work very well as a decimal. But if we had to somehow convert to fractions and then work with fractions, we can do that. We know how to work with fractions. What do you think about that? Okay. Sure. How will you write? How will you write six hundredths? This is six hundredths. Yeah, how, how will you write in words? In words, you would have said. Six hundredths. And the THS here indicates that we're talking about the decimal part, as opposed to saying 600. Right? 600 is completely different from six thousand or six hundredths. You know, this is maybe what I, this probably is not appropriate, but you ever had a parent say, I'm going to, no, we better not. Yeah, you know, they might do things to within an inch of your life. Okay, maybe if you're from an older generation. See, you know what kind of crazy parents you have, and they say that they're going to do that too within one one hundredth of an inch of your life. 
So that's even closer. You should be even more scared about that. Don't worry. It's it makes sense. You got to think about it. How about this number? Yeah, this guy is sixteen hundredths. Can I reduce this guy? What can I reduce it by? If you do, well, you can reduce by two or four. If you don't see the four and you do by two, you would have eight over fifty. But you see, oh, I can do two again, and you would have what? Four over twenty-five. We'd say four twenty-fifths, right? You guys okay with that? Okay, what if I were to say this? Four point one two five. How would I read this and write it as a, uh, a fraction? Anybody want to take a guess? This is 4 and 125 what? Thousands. Thousands. This is just a mixed number. Now when you reduce a mixed number, the whole part's still going to stay 4, but you have to take this 125 over 1,000 and see if you can reduce that. Can it be reduced? By, you said by 5? Okay, so when I reduce that by 5, I get 4 over what? Or excuse me, 4 and what? How it goes into 125 how many times? And 5 goes into 1,000. 200 times. You guys know this. If somehow you earn a G or one large and you need to split that amongst the five people in your entourage, Everybody gets two bills, right? Am I using the proper terminology there? Okay, sorry. Uh, can I reduce 25 over 200? Yeah. Oh, you, 25? Uh, 25 goes into both of them. Awesome. You think so or you know so? I'm sure. You're sure. I know 25 goes into itself one time. Think about 25 as a quarter. How many quarters go into two dollars? Oh, it's eight. That's a really horrible looking mixed number, but maybe the fraction bar a little bit too large. I guess I thought it was going to do something else. But so yeah, 4.125 or 4 and 125 thousandths is the same as 4 and 1 eighth. Questions about that one? I know you love reducing fractions, never goes away.